I knew right away this wasn't gonna be a trip for everybody. There she is. You ready for Idaho? Woo! Want me to drive, switch up, let me know. Oh, no, we're good. The old man driving technique. I always drive, right? <laughs> <laughs> She sounds beautiful. Going to Idaho, boys and girls. Going to Idaho. There was only going to be a few people on a very short list that was going to get the invite to go to Idaho. And I say that is because the chances of us catching a fish, they were going to be pretty slim. But that wasn't why we were going to Idaho. It wasn't about numbers. We had goals, yes, but going to Idaho meant more than filling up a boat full of fish and, you know, filling out your your tag. Going to Idaho was more about the steelhead, the journey of a steelhead, the great outdoors and how beautiful that country really is. Some of the most gorgeous mountain ranges and switchbacks and, and wildlife, huge mountains, guys. And the fact that these steelhead, to get where we were fishing, are going 600 to 700 miles to where we caught them from a story. That journey is epic. And to us, the group of guys that went on this trip, I knew these guys would appreciate that and enjoy that more than anybody else that I fish with. We have arrived. Super eight. Oh yeah, buddy. We have crash landed in Idaho. Oh, buddy. The raft is still there. The raft is still there. Oh. I don't need anything but a pillow and a bed. I know this sticker. I've seen this sticker somewhere. That must be Brandon's truck. It says fishing the odds on it. Yeah. Made it to Idaho. There's already fish. There's trout. This is cool. It smells good. Look at that. He's a little chrome for up here, but he'll work. Hey, Christmassy, huh? Shelby? Yeah, it's definitely Christmassy. That's cool, huh? Yeah, he's got a belly on him. Got a few of those. This is awesome. Ho, ho, ho. Let's go check in. Christmas. What's up, dude? Couldn't tell it's snowing. Cold. It's a season catch of great suffering. For you. you ready for this? I'm ready. And if there was ever Hell yeah. Time to Dude, that was a long drive. I'm excited to be in Idaho. You guys drove a long ass ways. Yeah. It actually took us eight and a half hours. Eight and a half, yeah. That's what I figured. Yeah. How about was that black ice? I heard you guys got a little squirrely. It was just on a bridge, and it was uh, just enough to so where I turned the hubs in on it, and uh -huh. I was like prepared for like the any kind of whatever's Stick, coming next four wheel uh -huh. drive and so it did this on me but it's got 35s on it so it's just rolled right through it over oh, right. it right back to grab it and they're good mud snow tires so. i'll say if you would have had like skinnier stock tires you would have been it would have been a little bit swirling. swirling so we had a big freeze it was like 8 10 degrees 12 degrees here from last saturday until yesterday then yesterday cloud cover came in got a bunch of snow but it warmed up so all the ice melted. We are here, boys and girls, Idaho. Idaho bound. It was a long drive. Shelby did a lot of a lot of hard work. We hit some black ice on the road and got things got a little crazy, but we made it safe. Brandon went over a gnarly pass and he made it safe and and we're here, so we're gonna have a good time tomorrow. We're gonna be running plugs, uh, eggs, shrimp. Um, beads, you know, just the kitchen sink at them. So. The kitchen sink, for sure. Stick around for the morning time, guys. It's going to be a good one. You excited, Shelby? 
Yeah. <laughs> what an adventure. Yeah. The hotel was all Christmassy for us. Just for us. No, I had him set that up. Yeah. When you guys showed up, yeah. Yeah, Brandon had him set it up I told for us. I him a hundred bucks. We I didn't see any of Santa's. On the way. I didn't see any of Santa's helpers, you know, in the well in the hot little outfits. Well, <laughs> they're busy. They'll be by later. <laughs> Shelby's going to bed, boys and girls. <laughs> we are going to be signing out for the night. Rigged up the rod. Got the maglip on there. Two point five. Got a hot shot, doing bobber and eggs, bobber and bead, the elevated bead. Making some slinkies, forgot my lead, so had some trap loads in the truck, you know, cut those open. <laughs> Make pretty good little slinkies, actually. Little babies. We're awake, guys. Mm. Idaho. Long drive, so day one. We're gonna get everything ready, load it up, eat some breakfast at the hotel, get some coffee, and uh, have a good time. Next time you guys see this plug, it's gonna have something attached to it right here. Micro trout. About, about yay long. <laughs> 38, 39 inches. You know. It's gonna be a scope. Yeah, it'd be like 39 eight, by 20. <laughs> yeah, it would be like 18 and a half around. It'd be. I'll levitate it. Yeah. In five minutes. You, know, you could touch it. I could touch the floor. Oh, we got one of these doors. Yeah. Right? Hey, you gotta do the Beth Doolittle. You gotta do the Beth Doolittle. You gotta do some classic art right there. There's Beth Doolittle. <laughs> you ready for breakfast? Oh, yeah. That's Break cool. Fast. Break fast. I wonder if there's steel in that hole. Oh, it's wedge in there. <laughs> oh, didn't even know this was here. Just the journey of a steelhead amazes me. I have a great appreciation for this fish. Just to catch one, doesn't matter how big, how small, just to catch one of those steelhead was gonna mean everything to me. This will get my, uh, this will get my cholesterol up. <laughs> Stay tuned guys, we'll see you on the river. Uh, it's windy, snowy, and all of the above, so. Water's also on the rise. Cheers. We'll follow you to the takeout. You guys wanna see something cool? <laughs> oh, I suck. Uh, so, takeout first, all right, so. Are we dropping his truck or my truck? We're gonna drop your truck. Okay. Because the raft's in my truck. You wanna do the whole 14? <laughs> well, we can figure it out as we drive up to. Alright. Alright, guys, so we're in the truck and uh, we're heading to the takeout. So we're probably gonna do like a 12, 14 mile float today, day one. Um, snowing sideways, wind's blowing, it's cold, but. Uh, we're gonna make something happen, maybe all the way out here in Idaho. So, drove a long way. Our goal is catch one fish. So, we'll see you when we get to the uh, put in. Subscribe, guys. Hit the bell. It's gonna be a good, good day one. You guys want to get 15% off steel gear? Use code ons15. Anything you purchase on the website, 15% off. I look out across the water. I smell the song I feel the breeze But in my heart I hear the call Of my old home Tennessee Just got our first look at the river <laughs> We're excited She's kind of a big river but we're excited about it Take out! Oh, you dropped your phone, dude. Company phone. Company phone? Hey, you our first first take of the river and it's looking beautiful. What do you think about that, dude? Huh? There's a steelhead right there. And a lot of times you can pick them up in this last one. Amazing how far these fish go. Let's drop the rigs. Yeah.
Well, we've been fighting the wind pretty good. We're getting some like 30, 35 mile an hour gusts. <clears throat> but we finally found a little seam here where we were able to drop the pluggers in. Yeah, poor Alex is, he has not stopped rowing this entire last half an hour since we put the boat in. Well, boys and girls, we floated a couple miles, a few miles maybe. Uh, needless to say, the wind's blowing 175,622 miles an hour, and we drove eight, eight and a half hours, and and uh, we're gonna we're gonna screw them up later. <laughs> we did get a takedown. We got a takedown on the plug. I'll see if the chesty picked that up, and Brandon. I had a for I had sure a, had a grab. I had a head shake on a. He had a head shake on a uh, eggs. Yeah. Drifting. So ba basically, guys, we're fishing where we can. The wind, we're getting 35, 40 mile an hour gusts, and we were supposed to have a storm that came through, and it didn't happen, and the wind showed up, and it was just, uh, just, just our luck. But we're gonna make the best of it. Well, there's a smaller river. We're gonna bank fish tomorrow, um, and we still have a lot of river today. And so today, we're thinking we're gonna be able to pick up, pick up a fish later in the float. So. Stick or around. two should be good. And you guys got to admit how pretty it is out here. God's country. Probably would have seen quite a few animals. The snow drove the mule deer down out of the hills, but with this wind, they're going to be tucked into the canyon. So good luck seeing them today. You got Shelby down there fishing. Get him. So I'm gonna run down to the bottom of this. Way down there at the bottom of this, there's a really good looking steelhead spot. I'm bringing a jar of eggs with me. I got this heated jacket my woman bought me. And uh, I'm actually pretty warm. <laughs> this thing's heated. This guy's got a freaking heater in his coat, man. Hell yeah. It's cheating. One thing about this trip, there was supposed to be a big storm. A storm was gonna hit and it was gonna screw up all the roads and we almost had to cancel our trip. A handful of phone calls between Brandon and I and Shelby, we decided to just send it. That is a lot of wind for a little raft on a big river. Our main, our main way of targeting these fish, we were going to be back trolling, back trolling maglips and, and hot shots. We fished this hole for a little bit, getting nothing in there. So we're gonna head down. We need to we need to break this river down. It's a very large river. So we need to f just break it into a little river, right? And just kind of dissect where these fish are actually gonna be sitting. And these soft edges, there's this a lot of volume, a lot of CFS in this river. So these fish are gonna be on those soft edges and I'm hoping in the shallower five, six, seven foot areas um, there's a lot of good plug runs on this river and i'm thinking if we can dodge the wind and plug those stretches and get some eggs down on those stretches we're gonna find some fish so i'm gonna hike back to the to the raft and head to another spot mama and two babies They just climbed that like wasn't nobody business. So plugging away, boys and girls. It's kind of our only. This is big water. <laughs> it's huge. Yeah, it's I don't know how far across this is, but it's probably a good. Oh, it's. You it's could like, argue 75 yards. It's 100 yards. It's maybe. as big, if not bigger, than the Cowlitz. Yeah. It's totally different. But it sure is pretty. 
Saw a couple deers. Some mealies. Drank a couple bears. You know, odd style. Odd. Odd. I'd like to get one of those little plug rods to bury for you guys. That's what I'm saying. We got the gravel, guys. I mean, nice gravel, slow. Just working ourselves into this tail out down here. There you go. So. I'd really want. Fish? Yep. Steal it? Oh my god, that's a trout. <laughs> nice one? Look at that. Beautiful little bull trout, guys. Pretty guy. These are protected here in Idaho. These go way up into uh, the middle fork of the salmon. They get giant too, this is a little tiny one, but thanks buddy. <laughs> Do I, is it a steelhead? I can't. Little guy if it is. Do we have a net? Yeah, but if it's not a steelhead, I'm not gonna. Might be a trout. Oh, it's a little trout. Oh, it's another bull? No. There we go. Beautiful. Is it a bull? Yeah, it's a bull trout. Hell yeah. All this I don't know crap, I'm like, damn, what's going on around here? All the eggs work. Plugging rod, again. Rod's not plugging. Just had a takedown. On the 2.5 maglet. Another little takedown. Shout out Yakima. Oh. oh my god! I heard you heard him, didn't you? Dude. Anchor, right here. Anchor. Anchor. That was a fish. 100%. My bobber just drained. I stuck it. That's good. It's good. You got plenty. Dude. <sighs> You're doing a great job. There's another takeout. Like, we should have put our trucks out. <laughs> now twice. Oh. You see that? Oh. Go, go, go. Fish. Fish. Got him? Yeah. Oh, he popped it. Is it a steelhead? Hello? Hey, boy. Dude. It looks heavier. Dude. Going back up? That was a fing steelhead. Uh. We got a little bit of light left and we got a couple miles to go. So we're just kind of rowing out. We fished as hard as we could. On my chesty, I'm pretty sure like one of the last holes that we fished, I hooked that steelhead. And he was head shaking, head shaking. He ran toward me, slacked up, fish came off. So that's kind of where we're at. But Brandon had a head shake out of a fish on drift fishing uh, corky eggs and um, had some plug takedowns, stuff like that. Tomorrow, though, day two. So stick around for day two because. What about our bull trout? Oh, Brandon and Let's Shelby, they, they both caught a bull trout. Beautiful little bull trout, and they're protected, so let them go and. And now we're just kind of floating out, and tomorrow we're going to be fishing a new system, a smaller system, something that we can relate to from back home instead of the mini Columbia. Um, so, but we're excited. This is some beautiful country, guys. Like, you've seen it in the videos. Brandon's rowing right now because every time there's tide water, I get tired of rowing, right? Yeah. <laughs> you let me row the bottom part, which is all awesome. However, uh, that we had some gnarly winds earlier today. We're talking 35 mile an hour gusts at times, I bet. And uh, it was hard to fish the boat correctly. Um, and then when we got to the good plug water, it was getting late. And, uh, just difficult day, guys. Difficult day. But had had fun doing it, though. Bet you, bet your ass.
day two. Yeah, a lot of it's just like, it's either pretty like cut bank and then like real deep right away. Um, or it's, you could weight it, but it's it's narrow enough where you just be like stepping on them, you know? Good morning guys, day two. We're doing uh, a smaller river today and we're gonna be bank fishing. No raft. <laughs> the the raft was a little too small for the river we were on. But we hooked this deal out yesterday and had some other chances and things like that. So it, I mean, we made the best of it. Caught some bull trout. Always forgetting about our bull trout. Yeah, Brian caught a bull trout. Shelby caught a bull trout. Anyway, so let's stay tuned and, and uh, we're going to go banking and have some fun. We're going to go get some coffee, some breakfast real quick and then load the truck up and, and get down to the river and check out the hotel. No, almost. I'm gonna get a cup of Joe at the hotel. Yep. She icy. Not eating breakfast, heading to the river. Are we going to gas station right now? Yeah. I'm going to go get some diesel. Some more beer. <laughs> and uh, hopefully we can go catch some fish today, guys. It's going to be a smaller stream. There's going to be buckets where these fish are going to be. And we're going to be able to read them because the river's small enough. So, that being said, look forward to uh, showing you guys a fish later. The beginning of every fishing trip starts right here. Fuel. At the pump. <laughs> Fuel, baby. There could be on here. Yeah. Excited, Shelby? Cautious at all times. Excited? Yes. Day two. Uh, I just let those people go by. I was gonna ride with you. Oh, okay. I thought you were pulling over, so I'm like, oh, I'll ride with him the rest of the trip. Yeah. Oh, his truck's warmer though, dude. This one? His truck. Like different ranges of ducks, actually. There's a, there's like a coastal ring. Well, passing this river, going to the next. That's where we were yesterday, folk. Excited to excited to fish a little smaller system. We had a lot of fun yesterday fishing this, learning something new, seeing pretty territory. But it's just I don't know. Like he said yesterday, you guys will get a reference of the cowlitz. It's just it's like fishing the cowlitz in a raft, and it's just kind of hard. And you can break it down better. But for my second time and their first time and 30 mile hour winds, we just we didn't have it right. But we still hooked some fish and caught a couple bull trout. So. According to the forestry people, we actually did status quo, so we'll take it. I look out across the water, I smell the song. Here we go, boys. I feel the breeze. <sighs> so, day
day two. Day two, we called Audible. We went back to the hotel at night and we had to come up with a plan. We knew that by doing what we did on day one was probably not gonna work again. And we drove a long way to, to strike out twice in a row, right? So we wanted to at least catch, I wanted to at least catch my first bucket list Idaho steelhead. So, just got to the river, made a few casts. There's definitely gonna be a fish in here. Look at this perfect little run. And then there's a there's some boulders up there in that white water, some pockets in this little system. I could see a fish easily sitting up there, so I'm gonna throw some some beads and some eggs and in those little pockets over there. We're just gonna pocket fish this little river and hopefully we can pull out my first Idaho steelhead. That's the goal. So stick around, we're at the river, we're gonna have a good time. Someone forgot to tell them springer season's not for a couple more months. <laughs> I'll laugh even when it works, but I'll just be a really happy laugh. Isn't that wind nice? Down. You're going by me? Yeah. Here, yeah, get me. Yeah, you're going to have to do it right there. I'm going to trade you spots. Sir. Yeah, it's a little hen. Nice. I know steel. All right, little girl. You let her go. Tiniest little steel that I think I've ever caught, but we worked hard for it. Um, tiny river, and I think we're gonna go catch some more. First Idaho steelhead, hell yeah. It's Dude. A we'll bite your fish, we'll get him in the spring. Nice. Idaho steel, son, how's it feel? Feels good. For you guys behind the camera, Alex is, uh, we'll just say mad. <laughs> we'll leave it at that. But I'm, that is a beautiful little buck, man. I'm fine, I just wish this was working. Tell me when you want me to. <sighs> Nicer fish, dude. That's a small, but it's a little better than mine. Oh. Yeah, dude. We just both got steelhead in Idaho. Hell yeah. Hey, Air 5. Air Boom, 5. Everybody. We freaking work for these fish. Next cast through there. Got this pretty buck. Our fish might be a little old up here. We do get some fresh ones, but they are pretty. 
One thing I want to say about the addicted landing nets, it's not only about the angler catching that fish, fighting that fish on his or her rod. It's also the net man in, the, in this particular situation has that connection with that fish. It's not through the end of an aluminum handle. The net man is getting in the water with this fish and he has to close this net over this fish. So for me, taking the addicted landing net was super cool, especially on this particular journey. For one, there's some big native steelhead up in this region. In this country, there is a big steelhead. That moment is special for the guy netting the fish. He gets to see it first. He can see how beautiful that steelhead really is before that Look at the red angler fighting the fish does. Him, I should say. And so, for me, it's one of the big reasons I like using those nets. Boy, they are pretty. You gotta respect the journey, man. 600 miles from the ocean all the way to, look at how tiny this little thing is, man. Up in the mountains, got the snow. It's an impressive journey. I look out across the water I smell the song I feel the breeze But in my heart I hear the call oh, First Idaho steelhead, yeah. guys. Addicted landing net. That fish just laid there relaxed, calm. No harm to this fish. That was awesome. First one in Idaho. That's literally what this whole trip was about, was me getting my first Idaho steelhead. And how far these fish come, the journey that they make, all the way from the Columbia River, Astoria, all the way up here, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of miles, and they still have hundreds of miles to go. So being a part of that journey and catching that, that native fish, man, was amazing. Maybe small, maybe a little four pounder, but that's memories for a lifetime right there. So, And for all you guys out there that think that native fish don't exist, we still have some undammed rivers up here, and you're looking at one, and that had a high fin, and its dorsal was perfect. So that Perfect was, that dorsal. Was a, that, that, fish, that fish was born in the gravel, my friends. So here we release, go. Those, release those native summer steelhead down in the Columbia because they do have a place to live. I was running a Nova Tackle float with this elevated setup here, sliding weight and just a little 10 mil bead. What a perfect bobber down. I reeled right into that fish. Was it a good bobber down? Oh, dude. Classic though? Like the first one. Oh, right there. There he is. Got him again. That's a better one. That's a better one, dude. Yep, yep. GoPro's recording on this one. This one's nicer. Yeah. Oh, maybe, maybe not. Same. Doubled up, boys. Fuller, first cast back in the water. Literally. And Shelby is up here. I'm gonna try not to fly in the water. Shelby is hooked up to right there, my friends. Woo! I'll try to get in the water with this one. Okay. Little hen. That's archery fish. There you go, Shelby. I don't know what to film. Is it a good one? Over here, Brandon. Hurry up, get him going. I gotta get Shelby's. Okay. Come. Shelby says he's got a nicer fish. Look at that, guys. Number two. Two casts in a row. Woo! And we're going to be a little quick with this one because Shelby's got one on that he says is nice right up river. Hen. I want that one. Kill that one. It's a hen. You want this fish? Hatchery hen. I'll take the eggs. Brandon, you, you did help me fight at the end. I'm holding the rod right now. I fought at the end, yeah. All right. Running through the rocks here. Try not to die. Oh. Better fish? Okay. Shelby's got one on, boys. Working him up the river. Got the landing net. Cameraman has arrived. On my dad's eggs. Hell yeah, Shelby. 
Oh, it's a giant bull. Oh my gosh, it's a giant bull trout. Keep that in the water. That is a giant bull trout. <laughs> That's so cool, man. <laughs> oh. Look at that, YouTube. Oh. That is a huge, oh my goodness. That is beautiful. That is the nicest fish of the day. Look at that. That is a trophy bull trout, Shelby. You guys, so we got stopped by the fish checker about 20 minutes, well, an hour ago, and uh, we caught some bull trout yesterday on the big river. And I was asking, I was like, hey, do they get bull trout up here on this river? And she goes, I don't know. We figured out the answer. That's amazing. It's huge, man. You gotta get a picture of this thing. Trophy. That is. That's a once in a lifetime fish, Shelby. Right there. Just right there, and I'll move the net. Are you sure? Hold the net the side of this side. Hello, everybody. All day yesterday with nothing in the boat besides two small bull trout, and it was fish, 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 fish. Just like that. Probably 20 minutes. Shelby feels amazing, I feel amazing. Brandon feels amazing. <clears throat> Got some eggs too. Got some eggs. We Local eggs for this river, which will be really nice either my for springers or steelhead. Like this. Yeah. This is my dad's that is so rad, everyone. He'll be happy. Good deal. Good day out here. And we're battling elements like no other guys. <laughs> you 30 can't mile, believe. 30 mile an hour winds, steady. What were you gonna do with that? So just bead fishing, man. I couldn't get them on. I switched bead colors, switched eggs. Literally couldn't get them on certain things and I just kept switching and finally hooked two steelhead in a row and had three chances. So that color of that bead made that difference. I look out across the water I smell the song I feel the breeze But in my heart I hear the calling Of my old home, Tennessee We don't know where these rivers so we fished the confluence of this river uh, where it meets the big river and no no luck so what I want to do is I want to hike up right here and just see if there's a little bucket up there and that'll kind of be the last place that we fish here and then we got to hit the road I mean it's like one o'clock and I got an eight and a half hour drive so got to be at work in the morning so I'm gonna go hit this last little spot up here and hopefully there's fish still in there. But <laughs> now you can have it. I can't hear you. This is rad. I want to go fish that flat, dude. Huh? Yeah, I see it. Really? Yeah. They bite too. Pretty. Yeah, it's a freaking bobbering right here. 
Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's always this time of, you gotta go home. Come too slow, go too fast. Yep. All right, folks. So that's gonna conclude the trip all the way up here in Idaho, man. I got my first Idaho steelhead, my second Idaho steelhead, and I had multiple other chances and. Brandon kind of showed us the ropes for up here. Um, big system, day one, which was beautiful, gorgeous system. We seen we seen a couple bobber downs that day, a couple plug takedowns, and I had a steelhead on for a brief second. And they both of these guys caught some beautiful bull trout on day one. And then day two, we had a double on a bull trout and a steelhead. and a five four pound steelhead. And it was just remarkable, man, to see these fish coming from. Astoria right through Megler Bridge and coming all the way up here to Idaho and many hundreds of miles past this to get to their spawning ground is amazing and in short It was an amazing experience. Those were rad. Yeah, and uh, Shelby caught the biggest bull trout me and him have personally ever seen It had to be every bit of four pounds five pounds. I don't know beautiful fish. beautiful fish Never seen one that big in person yeah. for me. Yeah. I know they get them, but I've never seen them So yeah. it's part part of the world we live in it's a nice fight too because I mean considering how much they go through up here it just felt felt like a good fish you know it's just like sweet all right yeah absolutely and that was a double the steelhead and, and his bull trout and he lost another fish when yeah. we weren't on camera he was in the hole above us um, and, and we we're thinking it was a big buck maybe you're a big big bull trout so we had a great time and those were on uh, your dad's eggs my dad's eggs yeah, yeah. You'll be excited to hear that. It yeah. Worked. Old school works. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, good, good day, trip. guys. Yeah. I'm just grateful good I got to show hanging. these show these guys uh, my neck of the hand. woods. Uh, not every day you get to catch steelhead. Thankfully, we did in yeah. uh, this kind of country, and we all caught one. And, you know, up here seeing a herd of elk, uh, probably 15, 20 mule deer yesterday. Just it's beautiful. Something different. So I'm grateful they came up. It's Hell cool. yeah. Absolutely, guys. Those mule deer are huge. They're way bigger than the blacktail we got back home, so. Yeah. Payback for all your trips down to us. Yeah, yeah. Subscribe, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed, and we'll see you on the next one. Yeah. We only had a couple days of fish in Idaho, and it was time to go home and pack our bags. It was, uh, needless to say, it was a moment I will never forget as an angler, as a true steelhead sport fisherman. I loved every minute of this Idaho trip even striking out on day one. I had some of the best memories I'll ever have, and I got to share it with really cool people. People that I hold close to me, and um, people that I knew who would appreciate this journey just as much as I did. So, the drive home, it was a little tough, but we're ready to go back next year for a full Idaho Steelhead movie and spend a little bit more time down in Idaho.